I really appreciated how everyone was trying to push skateboarding in their own way, but I didn't really understand how you had to do what someone else was doing, almost as in like you had a setup. This is your next trick and this is your next trick. And once you get that, this is what you do. Almost as in like that was the list of tricks that you had to accomplish. But when I discovered freestyle, I thought, well, this could be my own thing. This can be my own style. It has to be created for me. I have to feel like I'm taking my skateboarding to a new level, not just doing what I've always done or what other people are doing. And even though people had done freestyle before, I could combine it with street and make it my own, like my own expression. <laughs> My name is Kilian Martin and I'm from Madrid, Spain. To me, skateboarding is like a creative outlet, especially when it comes to make videos, because one thing is just portraying yourself doing a trick at any place. And other thing is picturing this amazing spot in your head that you can do a specific trick for a specific spot because then you can think of this certain spot anywhere in the world or with this story and make it completely different. Growing up, I watched a lot of skate videos. I remember some of the flip videos and Coliseum, Wonderful Horrible Life and some of those classics. I also discovered the Paul Peralta videos and uh, that was a big inspiration for me. When I watched some of those old school videos, I discovered freestyle. Now at that time I was doing gymnastics, so when I saw some of these guys doing handstand tricks and all these different variations, I thought that freestyle would be perfect for me. So since I was doing street, I didn't want to quit street because I enjoyed the excitement of street skating, but I really loved the artistry of freestyle and the fact that I could combine something I already knew with something that I like to do. I'm always think of different tricks, of ways of developing my skating. So sometimes instead of watching videos of other skaters, I watch my own videos and I look at them from the perspective of how can I take this trick I've already done to a new level, do something new of something that I've done in the past. So sometimes that's more inspiring to me than looking at other videos from other skaters. Yeah, I've always been criticized uh, for it's not real skating, it's not cool. Sometimes I'm just copying Randy Mullen, you know. And obviously, my skating has a lot of influence from different people. And Randy could be one of them. He's definitely the first one that really mixed freestyle and street. Perhaps I've got some influence from him, some from other skaters as well, you know. But I've always thought of trying to make it my own. I used to compete in freestyle. I did it for about two years and it's pretty fun, you know, because it's almost like the freestyle community is like a family. But at the same time, you have to really focus on the tricks that you're gonna do for this routine. And you have to practice those tricks over and over and over and think what the judges are gonna like. So you get the scoring right and how can you beat this guy? If I wanted to mix street and freestyle, that wasn't the route that I needed to take. So I don't compete anymore. Because of the first video I did with Brett Novak, that video went viral. In a month, it had already a million views. But then the next one, Skate Regeneration, that got like two million in about a month, you know, and it was all over the news. So it was pretty incredible because right after that video came out, that's when I got a call from Kevin Harris from Paul Peralta. And he was like, I think that you'd be a perfect fit for the team. Got to fly to California from Spain and everything happened from there. What keeps motivating me to skate and to keep going is thinking of skateboarding as an art form. So I don't think about going to skate as in like I need to work out or this is what I need to accomplish today. I want to picture something new and something that'll be like, that's Killian's trick, that's Killian's style. That's what keeps motivating me for the future. I look at those videos we've done in the past and taking my skating to a new level. 
To me, a perfect skate day involves filming, getting dream tricks, you know. They are literally dreams because sometimes I can't sleep because I'm thinking of tricks, you know. I'm picturing all these things. I'll get just a simple spot and I'm picturing all these different tricks. And now you're in a filming day and you're landing trick after trick after trick, you know. And then you get back to the hotel and then you see the footage and you picture how amazing the video is gonna be. That's definitely my dream trick, my dream. Day. <laughs>